you know, if, you know, if you want to just be notified, all right. So here you go. This is a uh, classes that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do shotgun classes, light machine gun, and marksman classes. All right. First, I'm gonna be starting with the EBR 14. This is a class setup: monolithic suppressor, precision 22.0 barrel, Ranger 4 grip, precision com, and then. We got the yeah. We got the secondary marksman rifle. This is a Mark II carbine. Best setup. Now you need ADS speed for this one. All right. So this is the best one for me. Okay. FSS 24.0 factory. Okay. Monolithic suppressor. And then over here. ones that stand up to the game but FSS Mark II Sport Com that's number one number two is FSS Mark II Precision Com okay you got either this or this so you guys choose which one of these two you might have but I'm gonna choose with the FSS Mark II Com alright then rear grip of course stippled grip tape and attack laser then car 98 what is the best car 98 loadout well Syngard custom 27.6 monolithic suppressor people now you can have this if you want but I'm not gonna be the judge of it okay just don't use it all right I'm not gonna use it you don't use it stippled grip tape okay Yeah, already right. know FTAC Sportcom. Okay, guys. Either this or this. The S, you know, Precision Com ST Volt. Okay. Or you can have the Tag Laser. You can have that one as well. Really don't mind. Yeah. Yeah, Monolithic Suppressor. Syngard Custom Sony 7.6. TAC laser, F tax sport com, and still be good tape. And I don't know about the much about the crossbow, but I guess that you know you guys want to like go with it, you know, because uh, you know like what is good and what's not. So XRK Quill hundred pound, whatever you call it. Then you could have the 28 standard cable. This is velocity and this is bolt accuracy. I'll go with velocity, okay? Actually, accuracy. Accuracy for me is better. XRK precision grip. Bolt, you can have a lot of bolt. Okay. Main one that I might use is explosive tips or just you know back burn bolts thermite you know tip so yeah, I'm just gonna go with this explosive ones stock these stocks are very hard to choose from like you can have mobility or you can have instability I'd rather have mobility <coughs> SK S, this is the best one right now. At 22 FSS, the SQS rifle stock, which is really good and it looks amazing. Okay, it might it reminds me of the guys. I think I'm all out of marksman rifles. Yep, all out. Light machine guns, PKM. This one's pretty hard to choose from. You got this one or this one? I'll go with this one. 26.9 extended barrel no yeah actually yeah the snap grip actually that's the best one no 200 round mags no 150 round mag just 100 mag you don't want to make it as heavy for you okay so you can have the forge tack ultralight 
Either you can have a, a laser to increase ADS speed, you know, or aim steadiness, or you can have a real grip tape, which will do the same thing, stipple grip tape. Alright, that machine gun SA87. This one is the, yeah, the S, the SA87.5. Oh, 25.4 factory. Along with the suppressor. Ranger foregrip. 60 round mag. Stippled grip tape. That's it. Next light machine gun. We're not gonna go with the you know the rest up, but I'm just gonna go with the M9 right now. M9 M91 heavy. Monolithic suppressor. Ranger foregrip. Ammunition 120. Stippled grip tape. That's it, there you go. And then light machine gun. The Holger 26. This thing is pretty good, not gonna lie. Its ammunition is very uh you know big and whatnot. I'll prefer the 30 round mag for you guys, you know. Speed for me. It's a thing that I actually prefer for using these things. Monolithic suppressor. XRK Ultralight Ranger Foregrip 30 round mag. Stock. Now these stocks are very well not not very, but most of these are pretty bad. FSS infantry is bad. No stock is garbage. The XRK is not so good, but this one's the best one. You know. I really recommend it. Not that not that bad. But if you don't want, you know, to actually reload every single 30 round mag in Warzone, just have the 100 round mag. This is for a multiplayer setup right here. 30 round mag. It'll increase on ADS speed, sprint speed, motor, movement speed, and reload speed. Okay, guys? So, Warzone. Actually, yeah, Warzone. Alright. Now we're gonna go for the Bruin. MK9 monolithic suppressor ranger foregrip now instead of having this big behind mag we're gonna go with a 60 round mag alright guys stipple the grip no stipple grip there we go barrel X R K submit 26.8 okay there you go Light machine gun right now we got the MG34. Now there's not much that I could actually do for this gun. But if it's one thing, it's his uh aim down sight speed. This thing's aim ADS speed is absolute garbage. So you're gonna want also the uh yeah, these things also slow down ADS speed. Just keep the same mag, okay? You could have the Forge Tack, Forge Tack Stalker. Don't have this. This thing doesn't really help out at all. No, just, no, just don't even have this at all. Maybe if you're going for mobility, but this right here, 100%. You should have this. Stipple grip tape. For aim down sights, you just you know aim in much faster. It still looks like a rust bucket, but shoot wisely. I think that's it. I don't know. Shotgun classes 680. This is the best one for me, at least. This has more range. It's really pretty good, honestly. Don't use a tactical suppressor. If you want, you can use a Fort Tech Marauder. 
or the monolithic suppressor which monolithic suppressor really doesn't win on this one okay so you got plenty of grips that you could have here so I'm just gonna leave it to you guys now I recommend this for a reason dragon's breath rounds or mag I recommend the mag even though it slows down you know movement speed okay guys so you have this if you if you're going for just you know long shots go with the 12 gauge 6R mags but if you're also going for long shots go for slug that's main one for basically common sense you know alright guys so I'm just gonna go with the dragon it's breath you know it gives it more of a power to it now the barrel is not there why because well this it has to do with that but I'm gonna give the other I'm gonna give the another 680 shotgun class okay this is a Lockwood you can have either yeah the Lockwood uh, has more range yeah it has more range as a Lockwood stock Lockwood, okay. Lockwood stock. And this is the other 680 stock, alright. I mean, this is the other 680. You can have either the Chuck or the, uh, the Ford Stack Marauder. Lockwood. Lockwood. Have MW laser. This is it right here. It's a class. Let's get it. It's really not that bad at all. Then R90 shotgun. This thing is complete garbage, literal game, and war zone. So here's the best one that I could give you. Okay guys. So don't judge me. Five MW laser. Ranger foregrip, okay. Ammunition, slug rounds, okay. Slug rounds, slug rounds, slug rounds. This thing's range, absolute dog shit, okay. This thing's really bad at range, so you really need that range damage. Shotgun, 725. We could either go for mobility or you know just range okay so could either have the monolithic suppressor or this whatever you call this I don't know alright we have the underbarrel ranger for a grip okay guard Ugh. forge stack commander this thing is bomb okay forge stack commander this is between Krona and Equilibrium or Tempest Sport which if you guys want mobility you can have it or you just have the sawed off stock but I really do not recommend it yeah I'm, I'm gonna go with the Krona and Equilibrium Boom. this is a class let's get out of it this is another yeah this is the Origin 12 shotgun not that bad of a shotgun I I could give you that one you know it's not that bad at all she's not even bad anyways I'll give you this or the monolithic suppressor this or the monolithic suppressor you guys can have either monolithic suppressor or this I usually put the that always have more shots actually no not always but it's good to have extra you know if you're fighting to big groups of enemies drum round mag either stock or laser you guys could have the shoes 
laser or stock doesn't really matter to me stocks don't really help out that much you know because well basically all you basically yeah stop laser but if you if you guys decide to actually not use a laser use the ftac hunter if you're going for mobility go for the ultra light now i'm gonna make another 725 class just to show you guys that um yeah i'm gonna make uh, another class which i actually use myself uh tempest no, no, no. yeah this forge tax steady grip under barrel it's between commando and ranger okay guys so you guys could have ranger or commando don't really matter they basically almost do the same thing and then you have this or the 5mw laser which i prefer the 5mw laser this thing already has enough you know pallet spread like just smaller now we're gonna go with the vlk rogue this thing is really it's not that bad of a shotgun as I'll say but it needs a upgrade um, Activision on Warzone at least this thing absolutely sucks in Warzone alright so that's that hunter barrel good vibe with this or this for you know for close range but I really prefer the warlord more range all right then you have class number 10 shotgun class these are the extra classes 725 sawed off barrel uh, that ranger slug and I think yep corona you guys test it out it's pretty good at close range bomb I prefer it myself I use it in close range people actually get triggered in multiplayer don't really recommend it in warzone because this thing runs out of bullets pretty quickly but if you actually are good good with this gun go right ahead bam now it's either between you guys want the origin 12 shotgun or the model 680 now for me 680 is better okay but when we're going for damage six yeah the uh, origin here the origin the origin is better but then the model 680 is much better in damage so this one's more damage in you know firing this one has more damage in just ordinary shots okay so this is this is the one that I actually use I don't have the dragon's breath round mags but if you guys do don't put it on okay this is a just an extra Lockwood Lockwood Barrel 5MW laser Boom. That's a total of 5 I really won't use this thing Because it already has enough range for it But there you go It's basically almost the same thing It's just that It has a uh, Yeah It just has a uh, this thing right here, the, the barrel. You guys could have that. And for an extra, that I'm gonna actually take out the marksman rifle. Shotgun. Origin 12. Top, uh, 25. Wait, do I have 25 round mags on the other one? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah, 25 round mag. Commando. 
barrel. You don't want this one right now, but this one doesn't take all your movement speed. Okay. Right here. Forge tackle to life. You get at least about three to two meters away from them or four. This thing shreds if you just hit your shots no matter where. Head, toes, whatever does the damage that is necessary. Alright guys, like the video, subscribe. But which one was your favorite? You know, give it a go, test it out. You guys could go back in the video to check it out. Check out the guns that you actually need, the, you know, the custom loadout. Thank you for watching.